Hey guys. Most of Dragon Ball Super fans love to watch anime more than reading the manga. Well, I wouldn't blame them when there is such great animation in certain fights and story is pretty fast paced and in this day and age, that's just what the fans want. However, the Dragon Ball Super manga isn't half bad. In fact, it's actually pretty good and I personally recommend reading it. One of many reasons for reading the manga would be the explanation of stuff that happens. If you are a newbie, everything will just simply go over your head if you're not paying attention and in certain cases, even if you're paying attention, things will go above your head. Dragon Ball Super's manga is better at explaining stuff. A good example will be how was Vegeta able to achieve Super Saiyan Blue. In the manga, the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken transformation doesn't exist. Also, Vegeta gained access to the Super Saiyan God transformation and this answered the long-standing question of how he was able to use the Super Saiyan Blue form. Things like these make a difference. Now moving on. Here's the photo of the new Dragon Ball Super Chapter's first page. As you can see this is quite unreal, and I didn't believe it at first. This has sparked a lot of possibilities with one of them being that Cell might be taking the place of Frieza as the 10th member of Universe 7's team. I wouldn't count out this possibility as Toyotaro never ceases to amaze with his work. Cell might be revived and he might end up joining the team and it would mean that there will be no Frieza in the Tournament of Power. Many fans might not like the decision as Frieza is popular when it comes to battles. There is another possibility that the whole thing might be just a possibility and won't happen. I won't count out the possibilities so I'm gonna just wait till we get some sort of confirmation. However I'm all in for Cell to replace Frieza in the team. Hey guys. Dragon Ball Super Manga and Anime like two entirely different worlds. Fans are sometimes confused what to focus on the manga or the anime. As of now the fans mostly prefer to watch the anime instead of reading the manga. However in fact it should be the opposite as Dragon Ball Super is better than the anime. So, today I give you 5 reasons why the manga is better than the anime. 1 Future Trunks Saga Who can forget the ending of the Future Trunks Saga in the anime? It is not something great just about average, which is in fact a huge let down considering the quality of the arc. It was really fun arc but the ending was seriously disappointing. Trunks finished off the major antagonist with his spirit bomb. Zamesu turning into an evil cloud, apparently that's a thing, didn't help either. The manga is different as the battle is turned into strategy to allow Zamesu's limited time fusion to run out. Vegito also makes an appearance and he is much more powerful than the fused Zamesu. Also, Zamesu turned himself into an army, unlike a cloud in the anime. To the Gods of Destruction and the Tournament of Power In DBS anime, an exhibition match was held between Universe 7 and Universe 9, so that Zeno could see what a martial arts tournament is like. The fights were interesting however they had very little or no significance at all. In the manga however, instead of the fighters, the Gods of Destruction put their power on exhibition. This fight was much better and it allowed us with a significant piece of information about Beerus and why did the other gods hate him. 3 Almost a completely different Jiren. The entire Dragon Ball Super fandom is crazy over Jiren. Ever since he has showed his godlike powers, he has become a fan favorite. In the anime, it looks like he has been just thrown in to kill time. However in the manga, his true personality is shown. He is a firm believer in justice and he will do everything in his power to protect the innocent. Even his wish has been revealed in the manga. For transformation is far more simpler.